What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NBA High Five video with your boy. Welcome in. Drop a like down below. Comment anything in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry I have not done a video uh, for the last week or so. It has been a huge week in my life. My son came into the world on the 26th, last uh, February 26th. Uh, so... We've been at the hospital. He had like jaundice. I'm sure y'all, some of y'all will know what this is. Some of y'all won't. He had jaundice when he came out. So his, his skin was a little yellowish. So he had to stay in this little, um, we had to stay over at the hospital for like three days or so. So he could be in this little bassinet type thing with a blue light over top of him with some little goggles over his eyes. So it could like help him you know, help his skin, whatever, recover, or whatever's going, what's going on with that. So it's been, uh, a little stressful to start out but yeah he's finally home we are home we got him home uh his first night here was last night it was cool uh so yeah it's just been it's been an exciting week for me so sorry i did not do any videos but i was <laughs> i did have my son come into the world uh so that's why uh the prize picks we've been still smashing dfs while i was at the hospital um we've been doing a great job with that i did take a break on prize picks because i just didn't have the time to do that extra research uh but prize picks will be back today so all nba access members as normal back like we were doing before my son came uh you'll be getting prize picks for nhl and nba depending on I, I might have maybe one nhl and a good bit of nba we'll see how it goes just depends on how i f which one i feel most confident in you know what i mean and that's those are the ones i'm going to put on the site so prize picks will be back today for all nba access members let's go ahead and get to it baby all right so First and foremost, we have Giddy out for OKC. Um, this is going to be a fantastic spot for Shai Gilchrist Alexander, one of my favorite plays on the slate. Denver actually has been giving it up to the point guard position. Plus, I love, um, plus I love this game, like both sides of it. Like I, I have a piece that I want, a big piece on the Denver side that I want, obviously with Jokic. Um, right now, we do have some solid value on this slate, so it makes me want to kind of, you know, spend up for my favorite play on the slate, and that's going to be Jokic is the highest projected player on the slate for me. Um, Shai Gilchrist Alexander with no giddy is just going to have a ton of responsibilities here in this offense, and Shai has just been an absolute monster over the last few games. 60 against the Pacers, 67 against Sacramento. I love Shai here. I think he's six X's once again. He's going to have a big game here. I haven't projected almost 52, as you can see. So I really love Shy Gilchrist Alexander. I don't love the price at 10K, but his opportunity here with that usage he's going to have is amazing. Running it back on the other end, because I love Shy so much, Jokic, um, a fantastic matchup for Biggs here against OKC. All right, all right, OKC just gives up a ton of rebounds. They struggle badly versus Biggs. It is a fantastic spot for him here, and I love playing Jokic at home too. So, period. Everything just adds up here with these guys. Now, another play that I really, really love, man, and I love CJ McCollum's been running point for New Orleans, man. Point guard CJ McCollum is a monster. All right, this dude has been incredibly consistent since going with the Pelicans. 57, 42, 52, 53, 47, 47. Like this dude has been extremely consistent. Now he gets to go against the Sacramento squad that just had Shy drop over 67 against them, had Kobe White drop over 50 against them. I mean, come on. CJ McCollum has been absolutely balling. He's another guy that I really like. So now that we've got some guys that, you know, are going to cost some money to get in your lineups, let's talk value. Starting off with o OKC being as thin as they are, sort point per salary, you've got Oleksij Pokashevsky. All right. <laughs> uh there you go uh poku is a fantastic option dude this dude is a guy who if he's gonna get the minutes he's always gonna be solid uh he he's just a solid contributor plain and simple and i really really like that uh opportunity for poku here in this game uh naturally i'm liking a lot of pieces out of here because okc really has some value being as thin as they are right now a lot of guys are out so poku expect him to be a solid value at 4-1 and then on the portland side a guy that a lot of people might not know much about keon johnson for portland um, Keon Johnson is getting some extra minutes here with, how, once again, how thin Portland is and their rotation, how it is. He got the start in this last game against Denver, so I'm expecting him to get the start once again. I really love this spot.
lot for him. He got 26 minutes against Denver. He didn't produce a ton. He only got 14. But honestly, at 3-1, he gives the, the value of him gives us the ability to get some major spend-ups on this slate, which there are many guys who are priced high that have the ability to break the slate today. Uh, so I really would like to get a couple of them at least. I mean, you don't have to go C.J. McCollum uh, or Shy. You can kind of balance off one of those two guys. I think Jokic is... If as long as the value is solid enough today, I think as always the the style is if you have plenty of solid value, pay up for who you think is the highest projected overall player, and that is going to be Jokic for me. So, um, C.J. McCollum and Alexander, uh, I might switch off before, but Alexander's getting such a bump with OKC, so C.J. McCollum would be the guy I'd drop down from if you want to balance things out. But like I said, Keon Johnson, solid value at only three one. If he's going to start again, get over twenty five minutes, it's a tough matchup against Phoenix, yes. But he's only 3-1, so we really don't need a lot out of him here. Okay, so if he can get us 15-20, to 20, we'll even take that, I think, on this slate. All right? So, Shai Gilchrist Alexander with them missing all those guys. CJ McCollum has been a monster. Um, for me, honestly, uh, CJ McCollum running point is just amazing. And that is definitely what I'm wanting to run here against Sacramento. Fantastic option here. And at 9K, I haven't projected over 5X easily. Uh, Poku, another solid situation here for OKC. Super thin. Poku's going to get some good run here. Jokic, top overall play on the slate. And so far, I, I think we have some decent value with Poku and Keon. And then Keon Johnson, like I was just talking about. Portland is thin. They're trying to find things out with their rotation right now. And Keon started the last game. Now, if Keon does not get the start, um, I'm probably going to get off of it. I don't care to play him if he's not starting. So pay attention to Keon. If he does, in fact, start again like he did last game, I want him. He's a solid value at 3-1, um, especially if that's how builds end up going and you want to, you know, spend up. And if we have a plenty of value, then that's the way I'm going to want to go. Keon's going to be one of my guys. So, all right. Thank you guys for joining me as always. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad, baby. As I said, prize picks are back today. They will be posted on the NBA Access page as I get them. Let's get this money. Peace.